Andre Dillard, you had options leaving Philadelphia. Why was Tennessee the best option? There's a couple reasons. The first was, you know, I already kind of had a bit of a relationship with Vrabel. I, you know, I had, um, sorry, Coach Vrabel. That's all right. I gotta be. You don't, go ahead. But, uh, yeah, you know, we've, we've kind of met with each other a few times in the draft process uh, in 2019. And, you know, he, he always believed in me as a player and, you know, I could feel that. And um, Tennessee just felt like a good, a good fit, you know, good people and the culture of the team feels good. You know, the relationship between the players and the coaches, it kind of was a gut feeling too, a little bit. This part of the country may be more your speed because it's kind of like where you grew up in Washington State? Uh, it's a little bit like that. Maybe not so much weather was, but you know, the people here have all been really nice and welcoming. And um, yeah, I heard there's a lot of uh, good food places here too. So I'm excited to explore that area. What are you most excited to eat here? Um, because there's kind of everything. Yeah, here now. there's kind of, but everybody was talking about hot chicken. Yeah. I've never heard the term hot chicken before, so I'm not sure what the hot part means. You're gonna find out. Like, so hot means spicy. Hot means beyond spicy. Like, as in, will go through the top of your brain. You can do it that way, that, or you can just like I don't do that. I do just kind of medium, and then spicy. What I, so but I mean, if you want to go crazy, yeah. You can go crazy, but you can have like nuclear reactor hot. That just doesn't sound as enjoyable. Well, some people think it is. They take the challenge, but I might have to try that. Okay, then. you might have to try that. That's yeah. good. Um, the other reason I'm sure you like this job too, uh, got an opening at left tackle, and that's really what you want to do, isn't it? I definitely have my sights on that, and that's what I'm competing for. First off, yeah. you've spent the majority of your time on the left side. Why do you prefer the left side? Really, it's just because that's where I was for a good 12, 13 years. I, I played left tackle, and um, since I started, really, they just kind of threw me there, and it stuck. And uh, my whole body and brain and eyes, they all just kind of got geared towards that over those years, and I was never asked to move. You were the highest rated senior tackle coming out in the 2019 draft. Where do you think you have improved your game most in the four years you've already spent in the league? Honestly, I think I've, you know, I've approved upon the pass protection, approved upon my strength like a lot. And um, I've definitely progressed in the run game as each year went on. I felt like I've improved a lot, and people that watch my tape, you know, agree with me when I. How would say you that. characterize your four years in Philadelphia? Start of it was I was drafted, you know, 22nd pick in uh, 2019, and their goal for me was, hey, use this first year as almost a redshirt redshirt year behind Jason Peters, learn from him, and. Uh, and then next year, you know, you're the guy. And uh, I got plugged in here and there, started a few games in my rookie season. Um, and then the second year rolls around and uh, I'm listed as a starter. I'm, you know, with the ones in training camp for a couple weeks. And then I tore my bicep, which kind of derailed things, like just the plan that we all had, that I had. And, you know, I did everything I could to come back as fast as I could from that injury and I came back from it but they had kind of made a decision to you know keep the guys in that were in and uh, so that year my third year I just plugged in here and there I started five games did pretty well my fourth year rolls around and I didn't get to I didn't start any games actually but I had learned to play some guard some left and right guard just to help the team out um, but still kept my left tackle polished at practice going against all of our starting D linemen all year. So. so Andre Dillard's feeling is this is your time. This is your place. Is 100% how I'm feeling. I'm more than anything that I'm feeling right now is just being grateful, you know, to 
it was a very emotional time when I got the call. It felt better than when I got drafted, like, in all honesty, because I was like, this is finally my chance to show what I can do to compete for this spot and just get a fresh start with everything, clean slate, you know, new location, new faces, everything. And yeah, it, it's good for a lot of guys, and I believe it'll be good for me. The bonding with Mike Vrabel that you felt when you went through the 2019 draft process, and you came here for a for a 30 visit. We interviewed you on your on your visit here. What is it about him that gives you the feeling, gave you the feeling, and continues to give you the feeling about that bond? At first, you know, I, I wasn't sure how I felt because he <laughs> he kind of put on that uh, that aggression, you know, when you're trying to get to know these pre-draft players and all that and he was straight grilling me like hard and I you know I was like just just go with it you know this is part of it but he he gave off a, a different feeling than a lot of the other coaches you know he felt like he was connecting with you even though he was kind of hard on you at first and a lot of the conversations we've had over the years were not it's not always about football you know how's the family you know what are your plans here and there, you know, in life and stuff like that. And he feels like a very family-oriented guy, and he's uh, easy to talk to. Welcome home. Thank you. Glad to have you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here.